Hey, welcome to day 14 of our FCC Advent Countdown. Let's check out what's in our Advent Countdown cabinet today. Ooh, it's a ball. <coughs> and it's our next section of scripture. We're still in Luke chapter 2, it looks like. Picking it up in verse 33, you may remember in our previous video, uh, Jesus has been taken to the temple uh, as a small child by his parents. And this man, Simeon, who the Holy Spirit came on, began to prophesy about him. And he just said a bunch of cool stuff. You can check out day 13 uh, to catch up. And here's where we pick it up in verse 33. It says, Jesus' parents were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them. And he said to Mary, the baby's mother, this child is destined to cause many in Israel to fall and many others to rise. He's been sent as a sign from God, but many will oppose him. As a result, the deepest thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your very soul. You know, when I look at this ball, <coughs> you may think of, I don't know what you think of. Maybe you think of the sun or you think of something artistic. I think of dodgeball and how much I want to throw this at people. It's a ton of fun because I, you know, can throw pretty hard and I was pretty athletic growing up. So for me, dodgeball was a great thing. I got to grab the ball and throw it at people and knock them down. It's hilarious, and it's a lot of fun, unless you're the person getting hit by the ball, right, and you're getting knocked down. Well, imagine a very, 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 very strong and very powerful person uh, with a bunch of very, very, very strong and very powerful friends all throwing the ball at you constantly, a number of these yellow balls maybe constantly being thrown at you. Well, that's not fun, and the point I want to make today and the reason we have the ball and, and the takeaway from what we heard from Simeon there is this. God has, listen... God has secured victory for his people and for himself. It is done. It is finished. It is complete. Jesus proclaimed it on the cross. Everything Jesus said he would do, he has done or will do. We are secure in our heavenly uh, eternal place. But it doesn't mean that there's not opposition. It's not quite done yet in that regard. And so the enemy, metaphorically, and his minions are still playing spiritual dodgeball with us. Again, metaphorically and hurling things at us. And so we need to be mindful during this Advent season. And I know this is a bummer because Advent's a really happy time, and it is. But we need to remember there is opposition. There is opposition in this life. There is opposition to everything good God wants to do in us. But let us also remember that for those who respond in faith, the victory is secure. So we may be getting pelted by these dodgeballs all the time, spiritually, physically, however. But there is a time coming and the enemy knows it when Jesus will sort of metaphorically return with a dodgeball and just go and just wipe everybody out once and for all hope that's not the weirdest thing you've ever heard I love to do analogies about sports but just let's remember that the victory is already won but there's still time to play on the clock so to speak in this game so be aware of the opposition but be assured and full of hope that the game ultimately has been won Merry Christmas.